Welcome to day four of this first test match between New Zealand and Pakistan from Hagley Oval here in Christchurch. And it was all action as Pakistan began the day at 109 for seven. And the first man to go was Sahel Khan, caught at backward square leg for 40 off 39 deliveries. He struck the ball powerfully. He top scored in the innings and he at least gave the bowlers something to defend. The second and the last recognised batsman, Asad Shafiq, was brilliantly taken by Jeet Raval at deep backward square. A New Zealand record for him with four catches. And at that point, it was just numbers 10 and 11, and they didn't last long. Good catch by Tom Latham and close. Wrapped up the innings. Rahat Ali out for two. It meant Pakistan only led by 104. And New Zealand able to walk off the field and put bats in their hands. So a middling Pakistan total. You have to say no scores of note. Just that 40 from Sahel Khan down there at number nine. 31 from Azhar Ali. 29 from Baba Assam. But all in all, a bit of a sick looking scorecard. To a man, New Zealand were reckless, excellent. De Gronholm, seven for the match. Bolt and Southie were tireless. And Neil Wagner in that three for picked up his 100th test wicket for New Zealand. Well, as Scott Starr says in the chase for 104, they lost Tom Latham earlier. Beauty from Muhammad Amir, spurning a simple catch up for Asad Shafiq. And that brought the skipper, Kane Williamson, to the crease. He was in an aggressive mood. So right from the get-go, Williamson, he showed that intent, missing out. A rare poor shot in the first innings. Well, he came up playing expensive shots around the ground. Always favouring that back cut down the pitch. Imperious six. And in the end, Kane Williamson brought up his first 50. In his last five innings. Came down to the fact that this was one run to win. And he got himself out. He's trying to paddle one round the corner to Azra, Azra Ali a test wicket. Kane Williamson got New Zealand where they needed to be. And the man who got the honour of finishing the innings off was Deputant, Jeet Raval, finishing an excellent test match. With 36 not out, 91 runs for the test match, and New Zealand wrapped up this test match by eight wickets. So there it is. Williamson 61, the highlight. Raval completing an outstanding debut. New Zealand winning this test match comprehensively. Not much for the bowlers to work with. They worked pretty hard. They only had 104 to defend, and Mizbara Hawk and then Azhar Ali sprung the changes, but to no effect, really. Just the two wickets. One when New Zealand needed just one to win, so the wicket was getting better and better. So to summarise this match, having lost the toss, Pakistan found themselves batting first, and it was hard work right from the beginning. All out 133, New Zealand 200 in reply. In the second innings, it all went downhill, particularly in that third session of day three. 171 for them, meaning New Zealand needed 105 to win, and they did so. The loss of just two wickets, so New Zealand win this first test match by eight wickets. So we shall see you in this two-match series for the second test on Friday, the 25th of November. You can watch that live on Sky Sports 1 from 10.30. So until then, we'll see you later. Yeah.